This screencast is made possible by I Show You, part of Shiny White Box. To view it, go to shinywhitebox.com. Hey guys, it's Tim here from Tech Stuff, and today I'm going to show you how to do some basic animation in Final Cut Express or Pro. I'm just using Final Cut Express because I can't afford Pro right now. Hey, look, I just got a message in iChat. That's pretty cool. All right, anyway, um, now. I have open here a project I made. I don't know if you know, I have another YouTube account, funnyent, youtube.com slash youtube slash funnyent, and I made the Super Bowl rap video that goes like this. Yeah, that's me. Anyway. Now let's say we want to um, make some stuff fly around, like right here where it says, we want this little fat hamster to go flying around. So we're going to drag this above it, make it so it's the same size, and now what you do is still go into the motion tab, well let's just say we don't even want the hamster there, we'll also get rid of it. Let's just say we want this thing to be animated. So you double click on it, go up to motion. And now here's the clip. First, let's make it get from small to big. So insert an anchor point there, and insert one there by clicking this little button here. I'll go show you. So let's say we want it to be small here and big here. Right here, we're gonna I'll zoom in so you can see it. You line it up to right where you want it and click that button. Now as you see, there's a little dot there now. And now we're gonna move this thing to where we want it to be big. Come back here and hit the dot again. Now go to the first one right here, and click and make the little video small. Do you see that now? Now when we play the video, watch. It zoomed in. <coughs> Okay, and then let's say we want it like, to be spinning, do. Well, rotation. So we did the scale, now let's do rotation. Zoom in on the rotation. We want it to start here. And end about here. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to do when it's zoomed in this much. Stop right there. So right here. We're going to spin it upside down. So now it goes like this. See how it does that? And then we can always add the center or an anchor point and stuff. And then you can make it cooler by distorting it. For instance, hit the distort button. Go down here on the bottom. Click on the crop tool. Make it the distort tool. Now watch. And you can do this even better, like for right here, where it's me dancing on the blue screen in front of the background. We can go to the background and make it be rotating. Go to rotation here. Keyframe. Boom. Hey, I'm like Steve Jobs. I like saying boom. Keyframe. Boom. Keyframe. Now on the first keyframe. Oops, that's because I have the wrong tool. I need this one selected. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we can just take this and spin it. Or you can just take the little thing right here and drag it up. See how I did that? Oops. You just can make, like, let's say we want another dot here. Hit the little dot button. And let's say we want it to spin this way, we just take that and drag it down. And now when we go back to the beginning, we'll have to render it real quick because, uh, you know, that green screen and stuff, blue screen, I use a sheet. <coughs> now when you watch it, you'll notice, I'll zoom in so you can see it. I don't know how the, the frame rate, just remember, the frame rate I thought I should use lagging right now because I have it set for 24 frames a second. Now watch this. Baby. 
February 3rd is almost here. And we are in style. I think that looks pretty cool. But you hear it goes. We want to. We want to add these little effects so it will move to the sound. So now once we render it out real quick, and go back and watch it, you'll see that it goes like this. See how that goes? Pretty easy, simple animation. I need some ideas for more tutorials. You'll be back. Thanks and have a great day. I show you is a product of the company Shiny White Box. For more information, go to www.shinywhitebox.com.